I founded I Can Dance in 2006 because I really believe in the power of dance as a means to share, to tell, connect, to build, create. And I felt that I wanted to do it in a more therapeutic way. Dance is the language of the soul. Dance is words without words. Dance is a story. And I think especially for disabled young people, they use their bodies to communicate when they don't have the words. And so I wanted to find a positive way of how we use their bodies to communicate, to express what was happening in their inner world. I didn't just want children to come to a dance class. I didn't just want children to perform. I wanted children that experienced in a community that held them, that felt with them, and that the way we worked with them was about a feeling place, not just a doing place. So I joined when I was seven years old. Being involved with this charity has completely changed my life. Throughout my life, I think I've, I've experienced a lot of like, you cannot do something or very like negative outlooks on me and what I can do and what I'm able to do. But I think the fact that the moment I started I Can Dance and like my journey throughout I Can Dance, everyone was so driven and like they wanted to see not the barrier. They used the disability as a way of empowering me and people around me and you know making it a something to showcase and shine. So often people think about inclusion as something we do for disabled young people. I personally don't actually like the word inclusion because it actually says that something is there and we include you into it. I think it's about building together and that's why I like the word community and that sense of belonging. I remember when I was little, we had a piece of homework to do and we had to describe our hero. And I remember writing about Juliet um, because to me, she was my, and still is, my hero because she's just so inspiring. For me, Disabled children and young people that I work with have changed my experience of day-to-day -day life. And they have so much to offer society. Some people really want to know charities like this, but unfortunately they don't know that I Can Dance exists. And that's why talking about and raising awareness is so important because people need to know that there are charities that can like cater to your disability and cater to your needs and there needs to be more, it needs to really be worldwide and there needs to be so everyone can access it and not just people that are local to I Can Dance or know I Can Dance. We can't do what we do without the widest community to support us and in that community are our funders. What's been so special for me about John Lyons is that they have been on the journey with us from the beginning. John Lyons Charity is one of the first funders that I've ever had when I was still doing it from my kitchen table. And so they have walked along the journey with me to now be in a 900 seat theatre with 80 disabled dancers working with 160 young people in a week. They walked that journey with me. They, they, they saw what we were and they helped us to grow They've helped us to reach more. That to me is that true sense of community again. It's not like, oh, you just did this project. It was quite nice. Here's some money. It's like, hmm, you're doing that. I like that. Well, how can you do it more? How can you do it even better? How many more young people can you reach? So having funders is crucial. Having a relationship with your funder, for me, is fundamental. If you could say anything now, the Emily that first started at I Can Dance back when she was seven, what would it be? I would say 
let go and be yourself. You have no idea what's in store for you. And believe, which is crazy because I can dance as logos, believe it. So I would tell myself to believe in myself. <laughs>